Welcome to Breaking News, brought to you by Driving Mall. New Zealand have been uh, granted or given the 2021 Women's Rugby World Cup. It'll be the first Women's Rugby World Cup in the Southern Hemisphere. I mean, it was between Australia and New Zealand, and New Zealand have won out. So, some interesting things uh, about this one. So, it's going to be held in um, Albany, which is um, North Harbour's uh, um, province's uh, stadium. Now, North Harbour have a team in the Farrah Palmer Cup, which is a global, uh, sorry, global, <laughs> the national women's 15s competition here in New Zealand. Um, and they're in the second division there, and uh, they came sort of mid table. So, but that's where one of them is. And the other um, stadium is going to be about four hours' drive north of there in Fongare. Um, which is the Northland uh, province, who don't currently have a team in the Women's um, Farrah Palmer Cup, but, oh, in the Farrah Palmer Cup, but um, they are talking about putting one together for next year, so that's good. Um, well, yes, what's kind of interesting is so that's where they're going to hold the pool games, and then they're talking about putting the semi-finals and the finals at Eden Park, and if it's available at the moment, they've not said they guarantee that's where they're going to be held. So, um, interesting, yes, they go, go to the big stadium, uh, which can seat sort of 45,000 for the final, for the semi-finals and the final, um, and hold the pool games in the smaller stadiums um, up in Albany and then a safe Fongare. So again, yeah, following on um, from uh, previous formats, two pitches uh, and, and then off to a bigger place for the final. I think it's what they did in France. Um, but I think pr um, in France and in Ireland previously, they've been at the same venue those two pitches, whereas this time there's going to be that gap between the two places for those games. So you can't go watch one um, and then walk over and watch the next one straight afterwards, which I think from a... Um, the only thing that really impact, I think, uh, is going to be the media. Uh, the media won't be able to jump between games so much they'll have to have twice as many people um, to cover it. Um, so you can't have one person covering all of the games like you could previously. So that, But... Um, but I think yeah, I think from 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 a fan's point of view, uh, that shouldn't be. It, it, should, it should give more exposure to more people um, for these games. And up in Fongare, they do get good crowds for their minor ten cup games. They don't get um, because they don't get Super Rugby uh, or All Blacks up there. So this will they, this this will be the biggest event of the year for them um, from a rugby point of view, which would be great. So congratulations to New Zealand. Um, so be across those two venues. Uh, in 2021, a couple of years away, but um, yeah, uh, hopefully I'll still be around here then um, and be able to, to go along to it. And uh, there you go. Um, let me know your thoughts. Is uh, putting it in across to, um, two stadiums that far apart? I, mean, I guess the other place they could have held it um, would have been counties and Northland. They would both be closer to each other, but counties um, is a much older um, run down sort of stadium. They don't have a big, big screen there, for example. The media facilities are somewhat limited. Whereas um, Albany and Fongare, uh, they're both um, modern ish stadiums. Uh, they've got proper media centres. Uh, they've had uh, things like Lions Tours. Uh, they have um, the Lions Tours went up to Fongare. Uh, I think the Rugby World Cup might have done as well. Um, and uh, uh, Albany also has similar facilities of uh, for, for radio, TV, media. Um, both of them have got nice grass banks um, for fans as well as a proper ma main stand. Uh, so yeah, it's they're, they're, they're two modern um, in New Zealand standards anyway. Modern stadiums, uh, sort of regional modern stadiums uh, that um, uh, to be held. I think they're two good venues for this uh, for this kind of event. So let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, yeah, uh, it, does does that gap cause you um, any concerns? or um, it's just a fantastic opportunity for Wins Rugby in New Zealand.